Yo, what is going on guys? Thank you very much for coming back to my channel today and in this video I'm going to be showing you a brand new solo unlimited money glitch that's working in GTA 5 online after the most recent patch and hotfix of 1.46. So guys, this is a brand new solo car duplication glitch that you can use to duplicate cars and then you can sell these cars over time to make yourself unlimited money in GTA 5 online. Now this is a pretty easy glitch, it might take you one or two attempts to be able to get it, but once you do hit this glitch you'll know what you're doing and you'll be able to repeat these steps over and over again to get yourself unlimited money in GTA 5 online. Now as always guys, I will leave links in the description below to where to see this glitch and also to the founder. Please make sure that you do go and check that out guys. And if you do go on to like my video today, please make sure that you do leave a like on it. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and help me get to my goal on this channel of 30,000 subscribers. And also that way you're not going to miss out on any future GTA 5 online glitches. But guys, with all that being said, let's just jump straight into this glitch. So guys, as always, you are going to need a few things to be able to do this really easy glitch in GTA 5 Online. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is actually go into the description below and you actually need to join one of the crews that I have linked in the description below because one of these crews does have a glitched out emblem which you do need to use on one of your cars to be able to do this glitch. Now, all you want to do is just join the crew. You do not want to set it as your active crew just yet. Now, just make sure that you are also in another crew as well and you are at least level 10 in the crew so you can put an emblem on the car. So for example guys, I'm actually in IGN at the minute, so that's what I'm going to be using. So guys, what you're going to need is you are going to need a nightclub with at least two basements attached to it. And also inside one of the basements, you want to have the car that you want to duplicate. Like I always say, make sure that this is a fully upgraded LG Retro, or some kind of car that's been fully upgraded at Benny's, or use a car that's been fully upgraded using the Arena Wall Garage. So once you have got the car that you want to duplicate inside the basement that you want to use, so I'm using basement number two, and I've also got a free elegy in here as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into the free elegy, and I'm now going to take the free elegy all the way down to Los Santos Customs. So once you do get down to Los Santos Customs with this free elegy, just make your way on inside. Once you get into Los Santos Customs, just go to the respray option. Inside here, just find the crew emblem and just apply the crew emblem. So as you can see, I have now got the IGN crew emblem on the front of my car, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Now once you've applied it, you're now going to back out of Los Santos Customs and just make your way back up to your nightclub and put this car back into the exact same garage you just got it out of. So once you do get back to your garage with this free elegy with the crew emblem on the front of it, what you are now going to do is you are going to press start, you're going to go over to the online tab, inside here you're going to go into crews, and you're now going to change your crew for the one that I've just told you to join from the description below. Or you can do what I'm actually doing in the video right now, this is why you can't see what I'm doing, and I'm actually on my PC right now, and I'm now swapping crews on Social Club on the internet. It doesn't really matter which way that you do it because you're going to get the same result. Once you have set the crew that I've told you to set active, after a couple of seconds it's going to kick you out of this session and it's actually going to put you into the character selection screen. Now once you get back to the character selection screen, you're just going to choose your male character or whichever character you are using at the time. And once you've done that, you're just going to leave yourself to load back into the multiplayer session. Now what's going to have happened guys is because you've actually changed your crew, the crew emblem is going to have changed on the front of your free elegy and it is actually a glitched out crew emblem and it will make your car take a little bit longer to be able to spawn. So as you can see, once I've respawned into this garage here, the car is no longer visible inside the garage and it's actually made the other car next to it invisible. This is because this is a glitched out car now because of that crew emblem. And as you are going to also see guys, it will actually respawn back but it is just going to take quite a bit of time to be able to do that. So once you have got yourself that free elegy glitched out, as you can see I'm in basement 2, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go up to the big basement doors, and I'm now going to select basement number 3. Now once I get into basement number 3, I'm again going to turn around to face the door, it's going to give me the options, I'm now just going to hover over garage number 2, and once I'm hovering over garage number 2, you are now going to hold your pause button, and then you are going to hit your X button, and immediately after, you are going to let go of your pause button. Now if you do this correctly, you're going to be on a black screen with the pause menu up. You now want to go over to the online tab, jobs. Inside here, go to Rockstar Created, into missions, and you now just want to start up any Rockstar Created mission as fast as you can. Now if your pause menu did come up and you just see yourself still in the garage, that means you haven't hit it correctly. Also, if you just leave the garage, that means you haven't hit it correctly. You need to make sure that there is a black screen with the pause menu up. Now as soon as you get to the mission setting screen, you just want to back out as fast as you can, and then as fast as possible, as soon as you respawn in, you need to turn around as fast as you can, 
wait for the menu to come up and now you just want to go ahead and choose basement number four or basement number three. Do not choose basement number two or the garage that has the car in that you want to duplicate. Now if you did this correctly and fast enough, what is going to have happened, you are going to choose basement three or four, nothing is going to happen, you'll still be in basement number two, and you will also have no minimap in the bottom left hand corner. If this is the case, you have actually hit this glitch. Now if your screen went black and you ended up in a different basement, that means you're just going to have to go back and repeat the steps. But once you have hit the glitch, you now just want to make your way to the blue circle in your garage. You now want to pick up the car that you want to duplicate and replace it for the free elegy that you glitched out with that crew emblem. Now once you've done that you're going to notice that the names have actually changed in the list but the actual cars on the floor have not changed any places whatsoever. So now what you want to do is you want to make your way over to the car that you want to duplicate now. It's now telling you that it's a free elegy, you just want to jump into this vehicle and you just want to go ahead and drive it straight out. Now if you are using a vehicle that has a number plate on it, once you get onto the outside the number plate will change for a brand new plate and you've now got yourself a duplicated vehicle. Now once you do get onto the outside of your nightclub with the duplicated vehicle, all you need to do is go ahead and save it. Now there is two ways that you can do this. You can either drive this vehicle now to your CEO office that has an empty space inside one of the garages and just drive it into that garage. Once you're inside that garage, just jump back into the vehicle and press right on your D-pad to go into the mod shop, change the colour of the number plate or make some kind of a simple little change. And then once you've done that, make your way back to your garage and you've now saved that duplicated vehicle. Or you can do what I'm going to be doing in the video right now and just open up the interaction menu and go ahead and order your MOC with personal vehicle storage. Now once your MOC has arrived, just drive this vehicle up to the back of it and press right on your D-pad. Once you're in the back of your MOC, you just want to drive straight back out and then you can drive it straight back in just to make sure it is saved. And then once you have saved this vehicle in the back of your MOC, you can now take this vehicle back up to your nightclub, put it back into the garage, and this car will actually still be glitched out. So you can carry on repeating the steps over and over again. You can duplicate as many cars as you want, and then you can sell these cars over time to make yourself unlimited money in GTA 5 Online. And that is pretty much it guys, like I did say at the start of the video, if you did go on to like my video today, please make sure that you do leave a like on it. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, help me get to my goal of 30,000 subscribers. And also that way you're not going to miss out on any future Red Dead Redemption 2 and also GTA 5 online glitches. Until next time guys, thanks for watching.